Hi, my name is Jojo and I live in a tent on an island in Sweden. And sometimes I don't sit in a tent, but I walk. And for walking I use my feet. And for my feet I have shoes. I have different types of shoes. I don't have many shoes, but for different purposes. But when I got to Sweden now here, it's... Um, the requirements for shoes are maybe a little bit different than back in Austria. So I bought proper boots. And with those boots I can go everywhere um, in the water, if it's cold, um, however they're not used, uh, they're not useful in, in winter. But recently I had a couch surfer here who uh, had even better boots uh, that can be used for the whole time. And she's here, walking <laughs> behind me. And we can now take a look at her boots. So, tell me, or tell, tell the audience. Tell the audience, yeah. What, what, <laughs> where, where can one get your boots? Where, okay, yeah. <laughs> your type of boots. Well, or, or why have you chosen them? Yeah, so these bare feet boots, um, why did I choose them? I'm a physiotherapist, so it's not just because I'm a, a lunatic. <laughs> um, but I experienced that when I wear shoes, and different kind of shoes, I would get uh, back pain. And I was starting to get arthritis in my knees. Mm -hmm. um, but every summer I would go bare feet because it's lovely, it's warm. And um, I was thinking like, ah, my back doesn't hurt, my knees don't swell. Um, so then I just continued, and now I think it's three years, all season long. Oh, um, wait, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish nature is a bit unpredictable. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so now it's fall and you still walk I in your walk barefoot shoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in, in winter, what will, it, will, it, will you continue the whole year? Yeah, I will. You, I <laughs> even when it's minus, I don't know, 10 degrees. I've done that. Uh, I live in Denmark, and two years ago I was still home throughout the whole season, and uh, I was, yeah, walking without shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Amazing. <laughs> you get used to it. So when it's really cold, of course I can feel it's cold for my feet. Um, but in just a few minutes, my my body will start to heat up, like very much compared to if you have a lot of clothes on you and then the feet will not be cold anymore and I'll get crazy warm so if I wear a, a thick jacket I'll start to sweat um, so I wear less clothes in winter I don't need the big jacket I don't need the three layers of clothing everywhere <laughs> so you're kind of a real-life hobbit <laughs> I think I'll still still stick with boots for for now, especially in winter. But I, I might I might try it mm -hmm. maybe f for a day yeah. or for some hours to start with. Yeah, but promise me, do it at home where you can warm up your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah to warm them up again. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you can recommend it. I can recommend being hobbit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Although uh, it might hurt in the beginning to become a hobbit. Yeah. But like everything, like beauty hurts and being a hobbit hurts in the <laughs> yeah. beginning. Yeah. You have to earn it. <laughs> yeah. But but you don't live in a hole in the ground. No. Okay. No. Then I don't. The next step. <laughs> next step. <laughs> and now it's not a pun for me, but now we need a little, little bit more more footage <laughs> for the for this video. Oh, you know what we could do? We could step step above the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for an, yeah, two, two three. <laughs> <laughs>